I'm Emily. I'm Dan. And I'm Morgan. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. I saw Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. It's, the, it's a rock musical based on the life of Andrew Jackson and how he went from his boyhood to becoming president to his death. It starts when he is a young boy and he his parents get shot and killed and he decides that he hates a group of people. He hates um, the British, he hates the Spanish, and he hates and I'm going to use the word they use in the play, he hates Indians. Um, so his whole goal in life is to wipe out these people and to expand the United States. He was just a really, really headstrong guy who wanted to bring the voice of the people out into the American government because he felt, because he was not elite, he felt that he needed to speak for these frontiersmen and for the West of the country, which was new. He's almost like a bully, actually, you know? I mean, he goes around just taking what he wants, and that's the controversy, you know? The end result is the United States as we know it, but how did he come about getting it? And, you know, that's really the conflict, yeah. It's an ensemble piece. The only character that I think plays, the only actor that plays one character is um, Benjamin Walker, who plays Andrew Jackson. Everyone else plays a few other characters. Some are just caricatures, some are characters, you know, um, there's a whole variety. Uh, and so it is, it's a bunch of skits put together to make this one collective story. Benjamin Walker played Andrew Jackson, and uh, he was awesome. <laughs> I thought that he was. Well, first of all, he was really cute. I thought he was one of the best parts of the show. He um, was very funny. He played the emo kind of aspect pretty well. He went from being really angry, I'm really tough, I'm the president, to I'm going to cry and sit in my corner. The way that he contrasted those two people, I guess, almost, was interesting because it was insight into the actual president's head. It was a difficult role to play. Uh, especially when everything around him was just chaotic all the time and he had to keep the center of the play there and I thought he did a really credible job. Most of the humor landed. Some of the, you know, some of the humor I feel like didn't land with anyone in the audience. There were a few moments where it was a little awkward and kind of quiet. There were some sections that I thought was really funny. There were some sections that I found humorous and smiled. Um, but, you know, I mean, it wasn't a uh, laugh riot but uh, it was entertaining. It was laugh out loud comedy, I thought. Some of it was. And then at, it was a perfect balance, perfect balance between your understated and your here it is. The humor's definitely South Park, um, maybe a little bit of Saturday Night Live, but like the later seasons where it's not as funny anymore, but still sometimes funny. Don't get me wrong. The music was rocking. The music, I was, I was in my seat, I was bumping and I was, I was, I was ready to stand up, get my hands in the air. The music was cool because the band was on stage and they actually interacted with the cast, which I thought was really awesome. The lyrics were funny a lot of the time. Most of it was done uh, to make a humorous point, make something serious into a humorous point. There's some songs that I'm not going to be able to get out of my head for a few days. Um, the populism song. The best song, however, was the song about the 10 Indians, um, where it was about a 20 minute song, it felt like. Um, but every time we'd come back to it, I felt like it, the audience picked up with it even more, which I thought was a hysterical, a hysterical song. It had a lot of bass, it had a lot of guitar, had a lot of really cool drum solos. So if you like rock, this is a musical for you. You know, it's not something you're gonna pop in your car on the way home and go, oh, I really love those songs, you know. I'm not sure if taking it out of the context of the play, if it's going to work or not. Overall, I thought that Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson was thumbs up. It was an awesome show and it had all the elements to make it really, really successful. 
When I walked out of the theater, I realized I liked pieces of the show, but overall I felt a little unfulfilled as an audience member. The things that I really liked about it was um, how it was tying in today's politics with back then. I also like the script because you can plug in anything current. You can throw a line here, you can throw a line there, and you can keep doing that. It will constantly stay fresh. It has the music. It has the cute starring guy. It has the costumes are really cool. I think this show is unlike anything that you'll see on Broadway right now. It's very different. I definitely would not recommend the show to everyone. I would recommend it to someone who wants a unique Broadway experience. It's a different creative piece of work. I'm not sure it's Broadway material and I'm not sure that it's going to please everyone. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I appreciate for it for what it was trying to do, but I'm not sure it was totally successful. If you're looking for a Broadway show and if you're looking for a good time, definitely come and check this out. Also, if you're looking for something that makes you think, check this out. And if you're looking for something that makes you rock, check this out. It's an awesome show. I will make them all bleed.